Today was a beautiful day. We had plenty of sunshine and temperatures were right where they should be for January. Now over the last couple hours, we've had a couple high clouds filtering in serious clouds, mainly from the west going over to the east. And that will be the trend over the next couple of hours. High pressure has been keeping us nice and dry. It will start to shift off to the east. Temperatures right now in the lower 30s and the lower 20s. So all depends on where you are. The cold spot brought to you by Climate Control Heating and Cooling Incorporated would be 20 degrees over in Elkins. No teens quite yet, but you can see Elkins is already at that 20 mark and it's only 11 o'clock at night. We still have the overnight hours to go and into tomorrow morning. As far as along I-79, pretty much the mid 20s, you see them sprinkled about there and we do have another uh, 30 degree mark holding on in Grafton. So very mixed temperatures for tonight, but it's a cold January night sitting where we should be for the overnight hours as well. So today was a very seasonable day. Overnight conditions for Harrison County. County. We're looking at the mid 20s, but like I mentioned, some areas such as Elkins will be a little bit colder. Here we are on the surface map, and you can see a nicely uh, formed trough that's uh, starting to get in formation here. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can. All depends on your weather knowledge. Here's our high pressure keeping us nice and dry. Here's our strip of snow, then that mix, and rain at the bottom. Go on the other side of that. We have two areas of low pressure and basically a dip that's coming to form here that will help push this into our area. But let's look at that upper level pattern. This kind of helps you understand it a little bit better. Here's that area low pressure. This is tomorrow at 11 p.m. So it does start to sink down into Missouri a little bit. But this is what you call a trough or a dip in the atmosphere, a dip in the jet stream. Basically, upper level winds, I have them on there at 500 millibars. And what this is going to do is basically bring that cooler air into our region. Our ridge moves on out of here, and this will bring the cooler air and also the rain and then we'll have this wraparound pattern where the rain will mostly be moved out, but that wraparound moisture could give us a few chances for a wintry mix once again to a couple flurries. Now, it depends how much moisture is left over, but if you remember this past weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday, we had some light snow in the area because it was the same exact pattern that set up. It just had a little bit more oomph to it. So we'll see how it plays out, but here we are on future cast, and you can see those clouds basically taking over for tomorrow. They will be very patchy if you raise a sun peaking in between mainly to start the day and then here we are at lunchtime going forward into the evening hours that's when we start to see those clouds thicken up into Friday this is stopped at 11 a.m. because that's when we're looking at that rain to arrive just as we enter into the afternoon hours. Now this rain could be heavy at times. You see those yellows and oranges. That's uh, that future cast picking up that, yeah, that rain could come down and a nice heavy pour here and there. Very spotty, but we'll see how it goes. I'm expecting about an inch or two of rainfall when it all is said and done. Seven day forecast, we have two double 50s on the board Thursday and Friday, but it will be gloomy 50. Clouds are building for tomorrow. They stick around for Friday. That system moves through. We get colder for the weekends and again wraparound moisture we could have a few rain showers Saturday or wintry mix a couple flurries come Sunday Monday too.